Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just a real quick video. I want to show you how to record audio from your virus TI into machine. There's a few different ways to do it. Normally, I use the analog outputs and just run it through the analog and sample it in as I would a turntable or any other type of external gear. But for those that don't have an external mixer or you don't have the cables and you just want to do it through USB, you can sample directly into machine via USB and capture the audio from your access virus so I want to show you how to do it of course first thing you want to make sure is to set up your outputs normally I have mine on out LNR output one which is the audio right here and you see you can't hear anything you can see it but you can't hear anything because I turned off my external mixer so let's say I don't have an external mixer I don't have any analog outputs or anything hooked up and I just want to do via USB so I'm gonna choose USB left and right and now I'll be able to hear it. So this is the output, the audio output coming directly from the virus through USB through the actual virus control plugin. So let's say I want to record something. Um, let's see if we can record a little something real quick and I'm going to show you how I would actually capture that as a sample in machine. So let's say we got that sampled in the, the MIDI and you know maybe you want to go in and adjust it maybe you want to tweak some of the effects or tweak some of the sounds in the actual plugin um, you can do that and then maybe you want to capture it as audio so let's say if you want to you know go in and mess with the filters or whatever you could do that. And of course, since this is a plug-in, it's auto-mapped inside a machine, so I can actually automate, you know, changing the filters and everything directly from the machine controller. So let's say, um, let's just mess with the filter. We'll just do a filter, a basic filter automation. Alright, so we got that. So now we have that. That's the actual MIDI data in there, but now we want to capture this as an audio file. Now normally, like I said, I do I do analog so I can control the volume because when you're going through USB, you know, your volume control has no, it, it doesn't affect the actual output of the audio since it's all digital through USB, but we can still use that. So let's say I want to go over here and put the audio right there. So I'll go over to sampling and make sure you have it set to internal. And we see we're in group A, so we can see the audio coming in right here. So what I want to do is go over to sync. And I'm going to set this to four bars since I know that's a four bar track or a four bar loop part that I played. So So now we see we actually got the audio in there. So I could actually go back, you know, delete this MIDI and do other ones. Since you can't use the multiple channels of the actual virus inside a machine, I would do it this way. This is normally how I do it when I'm doing it, you know, through audio. I just, you know, do it externally and I resample it and use as many sounds as I want that way. But this is a way you could do it internally without having any analog, you know, routing or any analog cables, just straight USB. As long as you got the USB hooked up and you have it set to play out of the USB output, you can resample that back into machine if you have this virus TI uh, plug-in loaded. So it's pretty straightforward. And as you can see, there's a sample right there. 
on the track. I can go in, edit it, chop it, do whatever I want to do with it, or I can just go in and, you know, draw it in right here on the track if I wanted to. So I can draw it in on the track, and let's say we muted that, we still have our part. So you can see it's there. Of course, I would probably go in and increase the volume since you don't have any control over the USB volume. That's one of the main reasons that I use the audio output. But you can go in and normalize it if you want to or just amplify it or whatever you want to do. Put a put a limiter on it, put a maximizer on it, whatever you want to do to make it louder. Now, let's say if I wanted to go over here to the edit edit window and just normalize it, I could do that. So you can normalize it. And again, if we go back, we can actually hear it. I'm not a big fan of normalized, but sometimes it can be useful. But then again, like I said, this is just straight USB, no analog input, output needed. So if you don't have your analog cables or you don't have an external mixer or anything like that, or maybe you're out of inputs on your audio interface, but you still want to be able to sample or record your virus inside a machine, as long as you got the USB loaded, you can load up the virus TI control. As long as you have it set to USB, you can actually resample it. Now, drag and drop doesn't work. I'm not quite sure why drag and drop won't work. Since resample works, I would think drag and drop should, but it doesn't. But it doesn't matter. As long as you can go in, set the uh, resample, and then do a sync sampling, it, it really makes the workflow really quick. So, of course, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, machinetutorials.com. See y'all later.